I don't think works of art produce concrete change on their own. Um, so I think, you know, if artists want to be advocates, they need to work in tandem with uh, people who are working in other ways than as artists. So they need to work in tandem with community organizers. They need to work in tandem with grassroots organizations. They need to work in tandem um, with people who have been working in really deep ways in whatever community, deep ways with whatever issue they want to address or who have very deep roots in whatever community they want to engage. Because I think the reality of the model that operates in the art world at this moment is that very few artists are able to invest um, long term uh, in a particular social practice project or a particular public project or a particular community based project. Um, it's very rare for an artist to be working on a project like that for more than three years at the outside. Um, and, you know, it's much more likely for it to be six months. Uh, and that's not long enough to produce concrete change on the ground. So in order for there to be enough build up and enough follow up for actual change to happen, you need to have partnerships with people who are really working on the ground. So the art is like the tip of the iceberg, the thing that people look at that draws attention. And then there's all the other stuff <laughs> that does the real work, you know, um, uh, once the attention is drawn. And I think Suzanne Lacey is a really great model of this kind of, you know, public practice where um, the artwork that, you know, you see of hers is always just like the, the tip of a spear and there's like so much other stuff going on behind it um, that isn't actually visible in the art world part of the project. Um, and that, you know, is, involves usually like 10 or 12, you know, partners um, doing a lot of other work uh, on the ground. So I think... It's very difficult um, for an artist alone to make a change, to make changes.